All right, good morning and welcome. I am Valerie Cavasso, so honored to host our town hall peak premiere party, which is unlike any town hall Kega 9 and Making Strides have conducted before. Now you can ask questions during this event. We'll get to as many as we can after the presentation. <laughs> it's a bold vision, and today I'm asking you to join us in making it a reality. More than just a walk, Making Strides Against Breast Cancer is a movement, and Kega 9 is once again proud to be a media sponsor. Because of this pandemic, how we unite and fight back this fall will look different. But our passion to end breast cancer is the same. And wherever you are right now, thank you for joining us. Even apart, we stand united to make strides against breast cancer. And we need every one of you to help make a difference. Now, breast cancer is the most common cancer diagnosed among US women. So when you join the Making Strides movement, you ignite passion to support breast cancer survivors and unite as a community. And uh, as you heard, um, you've seen videos and we've had them play at, on K-Gun 9 and you've seen them all over. Well, this year, Making Strides Against Breast Cancer event will be different. And I'd like to introduce you to Dennis Kanoyer, Senior Manager of Community Development for the American Cancer Society to talk about this year's event, Dennis. Well, thank you, Valerie, and thank you, everyone, for joining. This is a pink premiere party, so I have my pink beverage oh, yeah. of and uh, Mamo and Pink, and so I'm hoping that all of you will, will be that way as well on October 18th. You know, even though we're not able to gather as a group of thousands of people at Armory Park like we've done in the past, we still need to bring the breast cancer awareness for the month of October to the Tucson community, and we need your help. First of all, we need you to register for the event. That is so important that you register because it's still, we know you still have the passion support the breast cancer issue and to help who are dealing with a cancer diagnosis. Um, but we're not going to be walking this year. Instead, we're going to be driving. So it's an opportunity for you to decorate your cars in paint. And you're going to meet us at the parking lot of Geico, which is at Kino and Martin Luther King Way, right near the big Costco. And we're going to meet in their parking lot and we're going to drive a route this year. So you have to decorate your car. You need to stay in your vehicles at all time, okay? We, we still need to practice safety, so we're gonna ask you to be wearing a mask while you're interacting with any of the volunteers or with any of the sponsors along the way um, or other participants. So we still need to be safe, but we want to still bring the awareness of breast cancer to the Tucson community. So one, decorate your car, wear your mask, and then come between eight and 8.30 on October 18th and then around 8.30, we're gonna start the drive and we're gonna give you a route where you'll be bringing awareness of breast cancer to the Tucson community. Now the route may change between now and then, but some of the locations that we'll be visiting are our sponsors. We're excited to have Kima Federal Credit Union on Stone will be one of the locations we'll be driving to, which is gonna pull up into their parking lots, interact with them. They may have some giveaways for each of the drivers and then you'll move on to the next location. Um, right now, we're looking at Edward Jones, um, possibly the one on Oracle as one of our uh, locations. We're glad to have them back as a sponsor. Along the way, we'll be visiting one of the Panera Bread locations. We're not sure which ones, but they have coupons that they want to give out for either a free bagel or a future location or time. Um, we were going to be visiting O'Reilly Chevrolet near Park Place Mall. They're one of our returning sponsors. We're excited about driving up to their location. And then we'll, we may hit another sponsor or two along the way. We still have opportunities for sponsors. So if you're interested in being a sponsor, you can contact me. And we're going to finish at um, Sonora Quest Laboratories. They're coming on board as our, pres our local presenting sponsor this year. Their location is at 5th and Alvernon, and they'll be our finish line um, this year. So our drive will hopefully be about 10 to 20 mile drive around Tucson. Again, everyone stays in their car. Um, it'll be at 8.30 and it's not a parade. You'll have to follow the normal traffic laws and rules as you're going. And we may stagger the um, start line depending on how many cars show up. We're hoping to have hundreds of cars out there to participate. At the finish line, we're also excited to have our national um, survivor ambassadors, Zeta Alpha, who will be there to give out um, tokens to our survivors who are participating. So we're excited about that. 
And then um, Design Electric Power is also coming on board as a sponsor, but they probably are not going to be one of our stops along the way. I just wanted to mention them. We're excited to have KN9 as our TV sponsor and our radio station sponsor. We'll talk about in a few minutes. Um, we'll also be there to help us um, along the way and hopefully bring music and entertainment. But this this event is a fundraiser. So we definitely need you to not only register for the event, but to raise the money and to make a donation yourself. We know that it's tough for everyone right now, but having people at the event is great. We love that enthusiasm. We're able to fund the mission of the American Cancer Society with help the donation. So we're going to need you to, to really go reach out to your friends and families and ask them to support at whatever level that they can, that we can have a very successful raising event. Yeah, and that drive sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, we, we all get to get out and, and uh, get out of the house. And this is a great cause. Every little bit helps. And you had mentioned the need to raise funds. And we can't forget that this is a fundraiser, as you said, for breast cancer research and patient services. But fundraising can be a bit challenging this year with so many of us not able to directly interact with our coworkers and friends and family sometimes. Um, I'm happy to introduce introduce uh, Meredith Dunkel from 94.9 Mix FM, my usual co-host for the Off Breakfast and Events, to talk about how she fundraises using the best one of the best platforms besides television, <laughs> social media, and radio too. Meredith, I think I think Meredith is frozen. Oh, there we are. There we go. <laughs> okay. Love social. I do love stream live streaming. We do it every day. But thank you, Valerie. So glad to be back here with you. I mean, your impact last year, you telling stories was was everything. So if you don't know how important this year is for making strides, it's a huge deal. So yeah, we are super excited and honored to be here. I'm Meredith uh, with Greg and Mara in the morning on 94.9 Mix FM. Greg, my work husband. Jump back with your mask, Greg. Yes. Uh, we're working too. We're still in the studio. And uh, along with our sister stations, there he is, uh, Rock 102.1 um, and 96.1 KLPX and ESPN Tucson 1490 and 104.9. We're proud to be the radio sponsors for the event again this year. And we're going to be out there. And of course, it's a cause close to our hearts. Both Greg and I have lost friends and family this past year because of cancer and being able to help others in our community is absolutely essential. So if you're not a social person, don't worry, we'll walk you through it for people who've done this before. And for those of you who may be new to making strides walk and drive, I should say, uh, there are steps that you need to follow in order to join and fundraise. And it works just like the past years. The difference is fundraising is gonna be a little tougher right now. So we know how important making strides is for research in our community right here in Tucson. Uh, first things first, register for the event, go to makingstrikewalk.org slash Tucson AZ. Now you need to register even if you're returning and you think, oh, I don't need to re-register. You do need to, to register for this drive. Your info and password will all be there. If you need to reset it, you can reset it and all that. Um, but for sure register for this year's drive. And then the, it'll walk you through these steps. So make a personal donation. Uh, this is a fundraiser and every dollar is super important. Plus your donors will actually follow your lead if you donate yourself. So I did this the other day, I made my donation and now it shows my whole team. Um, and there's a lot of things that are not happening for fundraising this year. I know Valerie's already mentioned this and same with Dennis, uh, but the bake sales and the office pools are looking different because Nobody's in their office. So making strides needs the money more than ever. And if you can donate just a little bit, uh, we know it's a tough year. Your friends will see, oh, I did $5 or $10 or whatever you could afford. And most likely they end up donating themselves. And you know how important this is this year because the research is in jeopardy. Now, uh, after you register, uh, you could connect right there, your account to Facebook from the website. And it's so simple. It lets you send emails from the website to your contacts using these templates. And there's a bunch of different templates you could choose. It's like a drop down menu. And if you still don't feel like that sounds like you, you could edit the template to make it sound a little more like you. And it will email your friends, you know, your coworkers right from there. Um, ask your friends to support you on social. And I know 
how weird it is sometimes when you go onto social and you're like, hey, you know, I'm raising money for this and you don't want to um, feel like you're asking too much, but, but people, you never know who you're going to reach, who's been affected, or maybe they had an aunt or a sister and they don't realize that there's still something happening this year and they will, they will donate. So make sure not just to share it once, you know, but countless times, that's my boss who just walked in, <laughs> uh, share it onto social, onto Facebook, um, a couple of times because, you know, the way all those algorithms work on social, you know, some of your friends might see the timeline, they might see it once, some might not have been on social that day at all. So if you do it a couple of times, uh, you'll never know who you will will end up connecting with and be able to even get on your team, which is, is very cool. So for me, when I signed us up, all our teammates from last year were right there and I could just send an email to everyone. So now they all know that we're still having our team and then they could go ahead and they can register that way. Um, also, um, besides Facebook, you could um, send emails, you could do the whole social. Um, and when you connect yourself from Facebook, the money actually flows into your account. And, and you should even ask if your company can match that, you know, or can you do better than I'm doing for trying to raise money? And many companies still have a matching program. And there's still a lot of companies who are looking for great causes to help, even in this environment right now. I've worked at a few of them and they're trying to seek out these ways to help people. So um, other things to think about, make sure you thank everybody who supports you. Um, and some people who are not on social, Good news, you could even send a text message to your friends and you know, you can text message in, you look at it, you could put the link right there and they could check it out. And everyone will see it if you send the text message. So send it to the people you feel like will look at it. They look at it way faster than the emails. You know how many, I have 200,000 emails in my account. So sometimes the text message works better for me. I'm just- She's not kidding. <laughs> I'm not lying. Um, okay, so texting, don't be afraid, afraid to text your page and uh, send the link right there. And if you hit, hit your goal early, um, increase that. You know, you can always increase your goal and, and hopefully we can do that. You know, fundraising is essential. Um, this year, it's more important than ever. A lot of people have a different time. I know it's tough. We know it's tough. We don't know what situation you're in financially this year, but just kind of put that out there. Oh, she froze again. So, but uh, um, I'm just again. Gonna, there you go. Okay. okay. So yeah, I, I'm again. just going to um, <laughs> I'm in here, Meredith, and I, I say we should do this at least. You know, K gun nine, right? Got yeah. nine in there. But people should pledge at least nine dollars, right? Yes. And then ninety four point nine could be, you know, you got a corporation at least that much, ninety four. Yes, ninety four point nine dollars. Just round everything up. Just I round mean, everything up. If you if could you do nine dollars and forty nine cents, that works too. Yeah, you don't yeah anything to... like that. And if you want to round it up and want to add a couple of zeros, you know, behind yes. things, either one of them, that that works as well. So, yes. <laughs> if you. social is important, fundraising, as we know, is super important this year. And I think that people, you know, if they see just a, a couple of dollars that you pledge, again, post a couple of times on social. Don't be nervous about it. You know, like I said, you never know who you're gonna who you're going to touch or connect with in that moment. And so best of luck. We want to set you up properly with success this year for fundraising adventures. You know, we've got this um, and, and pictures. That's the other thing I want to say. We put up a few pictures on ours and, and I'm going to put up some posts um, with a link with some other pictures from last year's walk and our team. Cause I think people start to see it and then they get memories and they connect. So yeah, that's it. We're going to see you at this year's drive and you know, Let's get that fundraising going. Yeah, we get to see people, you know, even though this is virtual right here, but we'll finally be able to get some, see some people driving by though, but we get to see them. All right, thanks, Meredith. And yeah. as everybody has been mentioning, fundraising is important, but why more so this year than ever? Every single survivor is living proof that your fundraising and dedication to making strides is saving lives. And nobody knows that better than survivors. And I am honored to introduce to you, Dr. Liz Omni a breast cancer survivor and president of Tucson Cancer Pumpers to tell her story, Liz. Thank you, Valerie, and good morning, everyone. 
as a physician who's been involved in the care of cancer patients for the last 25 years, I was familiar with the work of the American Cancer Society professionally, but had no idea how much I would need them personally until I myself was diagnosed with cancer. I was a healthy woman in my early 40s, no family history of any type of cancer, never smoked, was mindful of nutrition and exercise, and got my mammograms every year. After a routine mammogram that was normal, I found a lump. A follow-up ultrasound said it was most likely a benign cyst and to follow up in six months. Well, being a busy doctor with a crazy schedule, I didn't want to wait six months and figure out how to fit that in. So I went ahead and just had the lump removed. And imagine my surprise when the pathology report came back as an evasive breast cancer with an aggressive genetic mutation called HER2. The next year would entail nearly a year of chemotherapy, bilateral mastectomies, multiple breast reconstructions. When I completed my last chemotherapy, I remember walking out to the parking lot and sitting in the silence of my car thinking, I should be excited, I should be happy. And instead, I was absolutely terrified because now, as a cancer survivor, you wait. Cancer survivors know that cancer is not over when treatment's over. My cancer had a really high likelihood of coming back. And now that chemo was done, I felt like I wasn't doing anything to stop it. That chemotherapy regimen, as much as I dreaded it, was all I had until my doctor called me and said, Liz, this is your lucky day. A new drug just came off of clinical trials for HER2 positive metastatic breast cancer, and they are having such good results with it that they're now allowing it for adjunctive therapy use, which means you don't have to wait till your cancer comes back to have the drug. So for the next nine months, I was fortunate to receive infusions of that magic drug to prevent my cancer recurrence. That new drug was called Perceptin, a targeted therapy specific for my genetic mutation whose research and development was funded in part by the American Cancer Society. I was diagnosed in October of 2005, nearly 15 years ago. And today I have no evidence of disease. If cancer can happen to me and my family, it can happen to you and your family. We have got to find a cure and research is the only way to do that. This pandemic has created so many unique challenges for us in healthcare. To ensure that our survivors and supporters stay safe during this time, the American Cancer Society has not been able to hold their large events that generate much needed research dollars. They are currently in jeopardy of not being able to fund 100% of the promised research funding for 2020. Research linked to genetic breast cancer mutations like BRCA1 and BRCA2, which helps families know their cancer risk and be proactive about the prevention. Research on new drug therapies like Avastin, a targeted therapy like the Herceptin I got that prevents formation of new blood cells that feed metastatic breast cancer tumors. Valerie mentioned that I'm the president of the Tucson Cancer Conquerors. We are a healthy survivorship support program for cancer survivors and their families. Just these last few months, we have had six newly diagnosed members join us. It is so scary to hear the words you have cancer and even scarier to hear that your cancer is advanced stage. But it's also comforting to know that research funding by the ACS is ongoing. I've always felt confident in telling new members that if you or your family are dealing with the challenges of a cancer diagnosis that you can be hopeful. Your job is to stay as healthy as you can for as long as you can, because if the treatment you're getting today stops working, there's always something new around the corner, always research in the pipeline to keep you well. We have the potential of losing some great researchers and stalling research that's already in progress. Researchers cannot do what they do without your funding. I know this year there will be no big galas and no big pink parties and no walking around downtown cheering with thousands of your closest friends and coworkers, but you can still support these events and make a big difference. If you were going to purchase a table at a gala and buy a new wardrobe for the evening and aggressively shop a silent auction, you can still do that in spirit and the comfort of your own living room. And now those donated funds are 100% tax deductible. 
I know we are all disappointed because we can't walk together this year. Last year, the Cancer Conquerors had so much fun leading the drumstick warm up and celebrating with you all at the finish line at last year's Making Strides event. You all are uplifting and inspiring. And I have seen how creative you can get every year. We can still rally our friends, families, and coworkers to put together our teams to drive for a cause. Thank you for all of you for supporting American Cancer Society. I am convinced that the American Cancer Society and all of you supporting research are the reason that I am alive and that I am well today. Gather your friends, decorate those rides with some pink bling, and we will see you all at this year's Making Strides. Thanks everyone and be well. Yeah, and I'm sure that a lot of people could be creative decorating their cars, you know? <laughs> I want everybody to go all out on this one. Thank you, Liz. Um, that is such an inspiring story uh, for sure. And um, thankfully the progress that we've made has saved so many lives and cancer research is at risk as everybody has been saying, and we must keep fueling it. The researchers are saving lives, but the impact of COVID-19 on the ability to fund vital research cannot be overstated. Uh, fighting breast cancer during a pandemic is heartbreaking for so many reasons. And the American Cancer Society is facing the reality that could reduce the ability to fund cancer research by, get this, 50% in 2020, the lowest investment this century if current trends continue. And the pandemic has made some truly intense occasions for the Amer American Cancer Society, which is why it's so important for us to be joining the fundraising for making strides, an entire generation of research progress, and the future that it holds depends on what we do right now and in the coming weeks. Uh, we must find cures, we must fund the future. Our lives are so busy, we all know that, and it's hard at times to think about the future, but it is vital that we not forget it for me, for you, for your children, and theirs. And uh, this is one of the times where, you know, we want to tell you that the American Cancer Society is not backing down. And when it comes to breast cancer, we simply cannot afford to lose any ground. We believe the future can be free from cancer. And I've seen it even in my own house as well. So I'm living with a cancer survivor, aggressive stage four cancer, who is now just living life as, as if he never had it. And so that's a wonderful thing. And that came from research as well. Um, so let's take a look at a video of the movements by the uh, American Cancer Society in making strides. Take a look. Here we are, all dressed in pink with our game faces on, in a different world with the same mission, to defeat breast cancer. Because we won't allow our fight to be sidelined, ever. This year, together, may change. But even if we're apart, We'll always stay united. We'll rally and we'll fundraise wherever we are, coming back louder and stronger than ever against breast cancer. Because what unites us ignites us. And once we're fired up, we won't back down. No way, no how. That fire is what keeps us in the fight. Raising money to fund new breast cancer research, providing 24 seven support for cancer patients and giving access to life-saving screenings. So yes, this year might look different, but we still need you to join us because together we've changed the face of breast cancer and our progress won't be put on pause. It can't. So rally with us and fundraise with us. The future is a world free from breast cancer and that future is in our hands. And that's very motivating. Love that. You know, if you haven't already, please go to makingstridesatwalk.org slash Tucson AZ to sign up and start fundraising. And thank you all for joining us. And thank you, uh, this panel, this wonderful panel that I love working with. Um, it's, it's like almost a yearly thing and, and all year long and, and just constantly thinking about it, obviously, especially for the uh, cancer survivors and families and friends out there, coworkers. So, Please, everybody come out to this drive. Dennis, one more time, just give us the information about this uh, this year's um, replacement for the walk. Yeah, so it's a drive for making strides against breast cancer Sunday, October 18th 
8 to 8.30 will be the check-in registration area time. 8.30 will start the event. It'll either be a staggered start if there are a lot of cars, or we'll have everyone go at the same time if there's not as many. But we're hoping to have hundreds of cars, uh, follow all traffic laws, wear a mask, and um, come out there and help support, bring breast cancer awareness through the Tucson community with us on Sunday, October 18th. All right, Meredith, last words. Okay, just make sure you go on social and share it. Let people see some photos or just remind them, you know, there are people that need help right here in this community and uh, sign up and create a team and send out an email to your coworkers and, and look for neighbors or whoever you can, but wear a mask, wear a mask while you do it, so. And Liz, we're doing this for survivors like yeah. yourself and those currently going through this, so last words too. Mm -hmm. oh, I just I appreciate all of you and I appreciate everyone who has supported the ACS in the past. It really does make a difference. The support group that I run will get drugs that American Cancer Society funds and that's why we're here for new treatments. So thank you everyone. All right, thank you all and uh, we're gonna kiss breast cancer goodbye, right? Okay. <laughs> thank you for joining us today and thank you for making strides against breast cancer. Bye. Bye.